Hi, I'm Neil Davidson, the Lothian Council Special Projects Coordinator. And I'm Fiona Clandalan, the Head of Development at Melodian Council. And we're standing outside one of two new blocks of affordable homes just delivered by Melodian Council at Rooney Road Close in Bonnywig. These 16 flats and four houses are among 182 council homes that will be built to the demanding passive house standard. It's the most ambitious energy efficient council housing programme in Scotland and these are the first ones finished in Midlothian. So what is a passive house Neil and what does it mean for our tenants? Well it might not seem obvious from the outside but passive houses are the most energy efficient houses in the world and because of that their electricity bills will be extremely low. Mm -hmm. So passive house homes work a bit like a tea cosy. Instead of just insulating the walls and the loft, the insulating layer is around the whole of the homes. Super insulation and very good levels of air tightness which keep the heat in. Passive house homes optimise the heat from the sun and therefore need very little extra heating and they use photovoltaic panels on the roof to capture daylight which turns it into electricity. Let's have a closer look around and find out how tenants can get the most from their new passive house home. So will tenants need to put their heating on much, Neil? No, unlike older homes where the temperatures go up and down, mm -hmm. in a passive house home you'll get a constant comfortable temperature created by the high levels of insulation. So tenants might only want to put the heating on in the winter maybe? Yes, and the way that the way that we'll do that is to just set the thermostat on each panel radiator to the, the temperature they're most comfortable with. Okay. Uh, normally 21 degrees in a room and 18 degrees in a corridor. The thermostat senses the air temperature, so the radiator switches on when the air temperature falls below the thermostat setting and off once this set temperature has been reached. And what about the hot water, Neil? Well, the hot water tank is in the cupboard next to the, the, ma the main door and the way that tenants will control that is by the, the panel that's situated just next to it. So the best way to do this is just to set the timer. These are the four timer, timer buttons. They've been preset using the off-peak electric tariff. If you need an extra boost for hot water for another bath, for example, press the boost button and that will kick in for one hour, approximately one hour. If you forget to switch it off, it kicks off immediately. And then I noticed that the windows are all triple glazed to keep the heat in and the noise out, but can tenants open the window? Yes, they can open the windows, but the me mechanical ventilation unit can also provide the fresh air. It's really important that tenants don't touch the MBHR system or the two sensors in the kitchen and bathroom. They've been preset for maximum effect. If tenants want to boost the amount of fresh air, for example, while cooking or before taking a shower to get rid of the humidity, just adjust the thermostat in the hall or the kitchen. So this all sounds pretty easy, Neil. Is there anything else tenants need to know? The homes are designed to be draft proof and very airtight. So to make sure it stays that way, tenants should contact the council before making any changes to it such as hanging Venetian blinds or curtains. So all these homes obviously now are their new tenants, but I'm sure they'll be happy in their new energy efficient homes. Into the sunset. Into the sunset. The sun's coming out. The sun's coming out.